When Persona 5's Joker joined the cast of Smash Ultimate as the first Fighters past DLC character, everyone could tell he had potential. His knockback was on the weaker side, but he was very fast, combo heavy, and our Zen mode completely flipped the script on his knockback and damage output. Almost nobody placed him below high tier off the bat, but many top players could already see his top tier potential. One of these players, of course, was MK Leo. Leo had already established himself as a prime contender for best player in the world, winning massive events such as Genesis with a mix of Lucina, Ike, and Wolf. But something was missing. Like in Smash 4, he had a solid gang of characters to choose from that he could swap between as needed, but it didn't seem like Leo had the one that really clicked with him. That all changed when Joker dropped. Leo pretty much discarded all of his existing characters and focused everything into solo Joker. The results weren't instantaneous, but the inklings were there of what would become the most dominant player character duo in Smash Ultimate's young history. MK Leo proved that Joker was an easy contender for the best in the game, winning Evo, Super Smash Con, and just about everything else with the character. It wasn't just Leo either. Zack Bray picked up Joker and began using him as a strong secondary, earning crucial wins at the Big House 9 where he placed first. Tweak had a Joker in his pocket too, making it clear that the character wasn't just being carried by Leo. It reached a point where people began arguing for the character to be banned, while others praying for nerfs. So with the, the gun to get rid of that double jump, I thought he was going to run out and counter like we saw in game one, but he just calls the roll anyway giving any opportunity at all for Zachary to even land. Look at the way he's just like, no, you're not landing. I'm not Those prayers would actually be answered, but not too severely. Version 7 narrowed the hitbox on Joker's infamous down guns and also increased the amount of Arsene time that Joker loses when taking damage. The nerfs mattered, but they didn't make much of a difference. Shortly after patch 7, MKLeo won Frostbite 2020 with Joker and a little Byleth. If you want to win like MKLeo, smash that subscribe button for more helpful tips from Pro Guides. So on Offline Smash, Joker has made a convincing argument to be a top 5 or maybe even a top 1 character. While many top players don't see him as being unbalanced, a lot of people in the community still think he deserves more of a nerf. For our question of the day, how would you nerf Joker? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned to hear our ideas on the matter. If you're having trouble with the Joker matchup or maybe you want to learn the character for yourself, look no further than ProGuides.com. Our website features awesome benefits like in-depth guides on every character, live classes with the pros, and pro courses taught by top players like MKLeo himself. You can also get yourself a pro coach via our Instapro platform, so check out ProGuides.com today. If you've watched up to this point and you're wondering why so many people want Joker to be nerfed, let's just take a moment to run down his strengths. For starters, Joker is very fast. He has a top 20 run speed and a useful dash dance. Interestingly, he's one of the few characters in the game whose fast fall speed is 90% faster than his normal fall speed. This means he'll drop drastically faster when he fast falls compared to his normal descent rate, giving him the flexibility to take his time in the air or rush downwards. Joker's fast dash and fall speed makes him excellent at whiff punishing. His dash grab is among the best and he can drop on top of opponents with a fair one, nair, or back air. These options all start combos, which Joker has many of. He can combo out of up throw or down throw at low percents, leading to long ladder combos with the aid of platforms. At high percents, Joker has consistent kill confirms using his fair one setups. By confirming fair one into a drag down up air, Joker can close out stocks with up smash or down smash. This makes him a very threatening character at kill percents because his only notable weakness is his lack of kill power without our sin. With these confirms, however, Joker can kill you all on his own. And he can do so without confirms too. Joker is an amazing edge guarder. His back air is frame 7, disjointed, has decent base knockback, and super low cooldown. Even after the patch, his down guns are still very effective at gimping low recoveries as well. And then there's Arsene. While he has Arsene, Joker is quite broken. All of his attacks get much stronger and deal more damage, and his hitboxes get bigger too. Those back air edge guards are now lethal at mid percents, and his down air becomes a spike. He also earns a new down special that's pretty much unanimously seen as the best counter in the game. Joker is very slippery in general. His hitbox is extremely narrow and his dash animation lowers his profile. Much like how large hurtboxes make big bodies easier to hit in combo, this small body helps Joker passively avoid his opponents in neutral and makes him harder to juggle an edgeguard. 
His disadvantage state is actually phenomenal in general. On top of having a really quick, fast fall speed, Joker has some great options to recover and land. His down guns force opponents to juggle him from the sides, placing a nearly constant hitbox directly beneath him. He can adjust the duration of this move, ending it with virtually no lag at will, and he retains full drift control while firing the guns. With or without Arsene, Joker's down special is always some form of a counter, so this just adds another layer of things to look out for while juggling him. As for recovery, base Joker uses a long-range tether move that gives him a lot of flexibility to recover from different angles. With Arsene, his recovery travels even further and has intangibility frames. Joker is a character with pretty much no weakness, but many strengths. He's extremely versatile and creative, and possesses one of the best comeback mechanics in the game with Arsene. Leo has demonstrated that Joker can both steamroll opponents and incredibly dominate games, and also salvage the clutches of comebacks from the deepest grips of defeat. Make the clutch play yourself! Subscribe to ProGuides! When deciding on some reasonable nerfs, we don't want to destroy everything about Joker, but simply present some ideas to tone him down a bit. The first ideas are the most obvious, nerf Arsene. For starters, it would be significant just to take a few seconds off Arsene's total active duration. The patch 7 nerf only affected the impact of taking damage on Arsene's time, but not his overall duration. Another idea approaches the time Arsene takes to build up rather than wear down. Currently, Arsene is built up more when Joker takes damage. This not only increases the comeback potential of Arsene, but essentially rewards the player for losing. Lowering the amount of Arsene meter Joker gets for receiving damage might even be worth an increase to what he gets for dealing damage, and this would be a fair reward system. Nerfing Arsene's knockback or damage output would be effective, but this kind of defeats the whole point of Arsene, so we'd avoid it. One move that could be adjusted though, is Tetracarn. Arsene's counter is kind of ridiculous. It activates on frame 4, stays active for a very long time, and has a hitbox large enough to remind us of a small magic burst. It's also very powerful with a 1.6x multiplier. This makes it super effective to counter edge guarding recovery specials, sometimes even hitting through the stage. Tetracorn could just have a slightly smaller hitbox and maybe come out of frame slower to make it less oppressive. Another common complaint is the utility of down guns. Against players who know the matchup well, down guns are by no means a free landing, but they absolutely change the way an opponent juggles. Nerfing the hitbox anymore might be overkill, but the cooldown could be adjusted a bit. When releasing down guns, Joker will fire a few more shots and then will act almost immediately, swiftly switching from a gunshot on shield to a landing back air, for example. Just a bit more cooldown would allow players to punish this move more effectively. Last but not least, Joker's hurtbox is one of the most low-key strengths in his arsenal. It really makes a huge impact on his overall gameplay. Whether you're trying to outspace him in neutral, juggle him, combo him, or edgeguard him, Joker's slender body presents an added challenge. He's even more prone to falling out of certain multi-hits like Bowser's up special. To address this, we'd suggest giving him the Pichu treatment, or as I like to call it, the cheeseburger buff. Maybe not so much as to change the appearance of his character model, but by simply enlarging his hurtbox ever so slightly, the difference could be subtle, but it would have a decent impact when fighting Joker. We think these changes would make Joker more manageable without taking away his core strengths that make him such a great and fun character to play and watch. What he's doing? Oh, oh the dash, the backpack! Oh my god, with the drag down, he's a jet me into the up smash! That being said, Joker wasn't winning tournaments just based on his character attributes. MKLeo has clearly pushed this character, and many others, further than any other player, and he deserves a ton of credit for Joker's tierless potential. To this day, the best character in the game is still up for debate, with rival contenders like Pikachu performing quite well in the Joker matchup. Even MKLeo himself has lost sets to multiple other characters, such as Peach, Palutena, and Mario. Nerfs or not, Joker is absolutely beatable and doesn't come close to the dominance of Smash 4 Bayonetta or Brawl Meta Knight. What would you do to Joker? Keep him as is or nerf him to the ground? Drop a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to ProGuides and turn on notifications so you never miss another video.